Uh, dear students, the other day I discussed the chapter Lazy Jack, right? So today I will mainly focus on the reading skills. I will uh, read the text once and I'll also tell you the difficult words meaning, right? So now you do one thing you take out the English uh, textbook and go to the chapter Lazy Jack, right? So now let's start. So name name of the chapter as you can see is Lazy Jack, right? Okay. Jack live with his mother in a little hut. Hut hut means whole hmm. Small house is called hut. Hmm. They were very poor. Jack's mother did some stitching for her neighbors. Stitching means like that. Okay, see that day also I told you the meaning. But they were poor. They did not pay her much. Jack did nothing at all. All summer he sat outside under the tree. And all winter, he sat by the fireside. Fireside means that we can see the fire. Okay, so the fire is the fire. The fire is the fire. The fire is the fire. That is called fireside. Great. Everyone called him Lady Jack. Then one day, Jack's mother said, Jack, you must go out and do some work. If you don't, shall not give you any food. I will turn you out of the house. So this is the first prayer. Now second prayer. Jake shut up straight. He thought, this will be this will be bad. I have to eat. I'll go out and work. A farmer living nearly living nearby gave Jake some work on his farm. At the end of the day, he paid him a penny. Penny man kusura boy saki bata toka toka de layer. Jake was happy. No one had ever given him any money. He kept it in his hand. But while he was crossing a brook, brook money, small river is called brook. I mean, Israel will come from it. Take us a it. Plong, plong means a sound. That means the theater hat or opera. Hmm. Behold, kuswa poisha to peni to puri gol. Did you? There was a sound. Plong. Yes. It fell out of his hand and into the water. His mother was really cross. You should have kept it in your pocket. Okay. So now, next piece. The next day, the cowherd who had hired hired means, jitiya karbak, poisa di pele jodi tumi karbak. Nizor Kamad Vibohar Kura, hmm. that is called hired. Tika se? And uh, gave him a jug of milk. Jake was wearing a coat that had big pockets. He kept the jug of milk in his pocket. Of course, it kept spiling all the way home. Spiling money? Spiling that day, I also told you the meaning. Spiling means, means, kihua, tololle, purizwa. By the time he reached home, the jug was empty. Empty means khali. Tika se? Empty means khali kuno thoka. You silly boy. Say it is murder. You should have carried it carefully on your head. 
next prayer then came another morning and another job for Jake this time the farmer he walked for gave him some cream seeds cream seeds money to come cream seeds money the here but not this one seeds very very tasty hmm oh yes he put it on his head it got mixed up with his hair it melted melted man goal is what melted means what goal is what it melted and rained down his sick sick means what gal hmm i mean say amar mukhor je kon gal no that is called sick right mon rakhi ba his mother said oh jack what am i going to do with you you should have carried it in your hands next prayer then jack walk for a baker baker means je bilak manu hai biscuit biscuit banai no hmm bread banai bilak baker bili koy thik ase the baker did not get much money for the bread he baked or so a uh, big or so he said maybe he knew jack maybe he knew jack was not too clever anyway he uh, he only gave jack a large cake jack remember his mother's words and carried it in his hands the cat sketch sketch what it comes sketch means asura thik ase sketch means asura hmm it more rakhi ba the cat scratch jack on his hands face and nail of nail of mane polai jwa hmm dori jwa dori atori jwa jack how i am going to teach you how to do thing the right way said her mother you should have tied a string around the cat's neck and brought it home it would have kept the rats away next yes mother say jack i shall remember that next time then jack got some work at the butcher's shop butcher's mane je bilake butcher's mane je bilak manuhe mangkho kate no hmm bikri koribo karane mangkho kate ami dekhi jo bazar hoy na no eblako butcher's koy ki koy butcher hmm the butcher gave a big piece of meat he tied a string around it and next prayer great at home drag drag means drag means susurania hmm bispale ki bada bandhi jodi ami susurania bispale that is called drag he reach home with the dog barking and running along behind him jack jack say it is poor mother what am i going to do with you you should have kept that meat on your soldiers The next day, Jack got a donkey for the walk he did for a washerman. Washerman is dhubi. Hmm. You will have to wear a cap or Washerman will be wearing it. Donkey man is going to be wearing Hmm. By now, you must know what Jack did. Yes, he put the donkey on his shoulders and with great difficulty, he started walking home. Suddenly. He heard someone laughing. He looked back. Look back, man. He held his shoulder close to her, and saw a beautiful girl. She was laughing at him. Next prayer. This is a girl who had never laughed before. The doctors, the doctors, had said that she would not speak until someone made her laugh. She was deaf and dumb. Deaf means what? Who? No one man will like that. Can anyone man will like that? Deaf? Oh, can anyone? Yes, dumb means what? Can anyone man will like that? Dumb will be like that. Okay. 
When her parents saw her laughing, they were so happy. They were rich people. They went out and stopped Jake. Who are you, young man? Said the girl's father. I am Lady Jake. Said Jake. I am crying now, not to be lady. I walk every day now. From today, you will stay with us," said the rich man. "You will marry my daughter." Jake was happy. He married the young girl who could not stop walking or stop talking. He, his mother, his wife, and her parents lived happily even after. He even stopped doing still. Sell things, right? So tomorrow, get a key. Go here. Bharat, about text to go here. Hmm. And after that, I'll give you the words meaning of the uh, difficult words. Hmm. Now I have told. And after that, I'll give the question answer. Right. Thank you very much.